Hello, hello! In this video, I'm going to be showing you Wu's Battle Dragon from the latest LEGO Ninjago series. As you see, the dragon is medium small compared to minifigs. Only two minifigs are included in this set, and then there's just a small side build. This dragon is a full, proper build with mostly smallish pieces, nothing fancy and exclusive except for the wings, which are just uh, a vinyl little cutout. You get a sheet that has the two of these on it, you just pop them out, and they get integrated nicely. I think that they work pretty well with the bone structure here and the color scheme. Integrates everything in pretty well together. This fits a single minifig there on a, a saddle of sorts. You also get a harness to go with that. The neck goes up and down here. You've got a ball joint here, you got a ball joint here, so you are able to turn this around quite a bit. It's a fully brick built head as well, not a particularly complex one, but I think appropriate for this scale. Uh, the legs are interesting. They're different, just not what I've seen before. They do have ball joints. These front ones have ball joints up at the shoulders, but you can't really use those, those ball joints very much. They're mostly just limited to forward and back motion there. And then you also have forward and back motion at the ankle on each side. Now you see that you do have these two joints inside of here. You can break one of those, just pull one apart to get some effective uh, elbow or knee action. It's more like an elbow at that point, if, if you need it, if you absolutely need it. You do have a proper knee working back here, in addition to another joint that just gives you the forward and back motion. Unfortunately, you cannot splay these legs apart. Here again, at the back, you have the uh, just the ankle that goes forward and back. I mean, there's a slight bit of in and out motion because again, it's a ball joint but it's just really limited in what it can do. So that's really what you get there. And then the tail is done very similar to the neck where the first joint is just up and down and then the rest are ball joints. So you can curl them around and such. These wings do not fold up or anything like that. They just go up and down and not down very far. They only go just to there, just to, to perpendicular or parallel with the ground. And then you can bring them up. So a little bit limited there. Would be nice to get just one single ratchet down from there, but it's just not possible the way that this is constructed. And that's pretty much it for the main thing that you're paying for here. So I'll just give you a couple more looks at it from some different angles, maybe from the underside as well. Oh, woo, starting to fall out. Uh, the designer did a really nice job here, I think, of keeping the color scheme nice and consistent. I really appreciate how much black is used on the underside. Extra pieces were used there to make it look good. Oh, one last thing I wanted to point out is that you do have a couple of clips behind the pilot seat, if you will, to hold on to minifig accessories. Now, of course, Wu has his staff, and in this case, we'll see this closer, but you see basically how it works. Uh, it would be nice to hook this up on one side, but there's something in the way. That black plastic piece is in the way, so what you need to do is actually break this down into two sections and use both of the clips. The side build is just a small holder, basically, for the ivory blade of deliverance there. This is nicely done, the way that it's set up to hold on to this broad sword blade. This is dual molded, this piece right here. Doesn't work out, in my opinion, quite as well as the one with the opposite color scheme, because here you can see a little bit of the black plastic behind or inside, just because of the increased transparency or slight translucency of the white. So you can see the black through it. Not that big of a deal. That skull mold, that is really good. Really good for its uh, for its size and everything, level of detail. I mean, just generally, this little stuff here is cool. Here's Hero Wu with his three-piece staff, and he's got the shoulder armor, as well as his typical style of headgear. The print on the back of the head, of course, is not an alternate face. It's just the hair, the braids coming around the back. A little bit of print on the back of the torso as well. And underneath that beard, there's the full face, which looks pretty good to me. Doesn't look too much different from what I expect from him, generally speaking. So that's good. And just the rest of that torso print, which, you know, just pretty much continues what you already saw. This little purple orc dude is a geckle, which is a little purple orc dude. His name is Glek. Has the short legs, which are not able to bend at all. A little bit of metallic printing for the belt buckle on there. The ears are dual molded into the headgear piece. And he's got a quiver on the back. The crossbow is one of the shooting kind that shoots just regular studs. 
Thankfully, this figure has an alternate face, which is very different in its expression and very appropriate. Good for this character. And there's the rest of that print on the back of the torso. These are the leftover spare parts from the set, including some of the nicer, more interesting, more rare, small pieces. And there's no sticker sheet to show you because there are no stickers. This is priced at $20 US, which feels really good to me. The price to part ratio is pretty fantastic, I think. And the price to volume of stuff ratio feels very good to me. The amount of stuff that's in front of me on the table right now, yeah, $20, absolutely. Once again, Ninjago comes through as one of the, the better deals as an entire theme compared to something like uh, uh, City, for, a, for example. Um, it's a pretty straightforward set, you know, so there's really not a whole lot to talk about with it. Uh, pretty much what you see is what you get. I personally really would have liked to see more leg articulation out of this, just at the shoulders. Like, I think the amount of, the number of joints on this, I think is fine. And when you consider all the articulation that you get with the neck and, and the, the tail, that's, that's more than it needs to be sure. But I wish that you could splay the legs, possibly rotate them uh, at essentially the shoulder and, and hip joints. Also being able to bring the wings down, just like I said, one click farther would have been nice. Otherwise, it's fine. Two figures, I think is fine for the amount of, again, the amount of stuff that you get here for $20. So yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with this. Got a little build for it. You know, it's fairly quick to go together. So I've got the real time Speed build, whichever you prefer. Check out one of those if you'd like to. And I think we're done here. Talk to you again soon.